Hello, I'm Chaplain Jared. Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast, Episode 34, Two Are Better Than One, a guided Christian meditation on Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. So I work as a hospice chaplain, and I've worked as an ICU chaplain at a busy hospital. And my purpose in making this podcast is to help you to find more peace in your life, to be open to be changed by the Spirit of God using a centuries-old Christian meditation style called Lectio Divina. We'll begin with relaxation exercise, and then we'll read from the Bible, meditate on the meaning of that scripture, and then ask God in prayer for guidance. Sit in contemplative silence and then visualize how we can use the insights we gain during this meditation to positively change our lives. So we're going to be doing some relaxation and some deep breathing. So I invite you to find a place where you can sit uninterrupted for about 20 minutes. And if you feel safe to do so, close your eyes. Feel yourself resting on the chair or surface where you're sitting or laying. Hear the sounds that fall on your ears. Without force of will, allow your focus to loosen. Let your focus slowly move along your muscles and notice any tension. Allow your focus to slide along your neck, resting briefly at the base of your skull. You feel your muscles loosen. Allow this focus to continue to move down your neck and rest softly between your shoulder blades. As you do this, you feel the tension harmlessly escape with each passing breath. Your focus moves along your body, searching for tension throughout, freeing it and observing how it's breathed out. As you do this, you feel your body fill with calm. Keep breathing slowly and feel how good this calm feeling is. Allow the calm to grow and fill your whole body. Allow this feeling to grow and be absorbed fully into your body. And as you do this, your body relaxes. You 
you relax fully and your mind is clear. Free of any distractions. So keep breathing deeply and calmly as I read from the scriptures. As I do, you will feel God's peace through his holy word and allow your mind to remain clear and your body to remain calm as you remain ready to receive the peace of the Lord. We'll be reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12, first through the King James Version. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie, Therefore, again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Reflect on the meaning of this scripture. What does it mean? Now we're going to read from the New International Version. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone. The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. What does this scripture mean? What message materialized as you listened to this scripture? How are you blessed by those around you. An inevitable, an inevitable truth of this life is that none of us are designed to live in complete isolation. Each of us receives strength from others. We receive strength from those we care about. This is why the scriptures counsel for saints to gather. We strengthen each other and we help each other. When is the last time you've been down and been lifted by someone else? Who is someone who lifts you up? And how do they do it? And when have you helped someone in the same way? As we learn to care about and love others, and we learn to be loved, we experience the most profound connection in life. However, there is nothing safe about caring for someone else. In fact, caring about others puts us at risk for being hurt by a loss or disappointment. When God chose to love us, this was not without risk either. It eventually led to the cross. But what are we without love? We love because he first loved us. Even 
if you wish you had more genuine connection in your life, know this, God is always with you and will strengthen you more than any person can. In our relationships, Christ is always there to mediate. He can lift us from troubling situations and can teach us the valuable lessons that this life has to teach. Think about the ways that you could lift the spirits of those you know and care about. Think of what you gain by caring for others and allowing them to care for you. Please join me in prayer. Dear Father, bless our hearts now that as we open them to the service of others, that we can see the blessings that others are in our lives that we can feel of their love and compassion. Please bless us that we will be able to be open to thy Holy Spirit and feel of the blessing that comes from being loved as genuine children from thee. Guide us now in these thoughts that we can be strengthened as we recommit ourselves to walk in thy paths. And this we say in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I invite you to continue in prayer now. I'll give you a couple more seconds. All right. Now I invite you to sit in silence, feeling the strength from God and those that you care about. give you a couple more seconds. All right. I want you to try to now articulate or at least think about how you would articulate the insights that you've gained here today. How would you show this to someone else? Maybe even think who you would share that message with and commit to sharing this thought with them. 
I'll give you a couple moments to do that now. Give you a couple more seconds. All right. Now visualize. What insight did you gain as you reflected on the scripture? And how can your life be improved based on this? So I want you to visualize this thought and really imagine what your life would be like if this positive thing were true. Imagine how you would live, how others would treat you, how you would treat others, how you would perceive yourself, and really just make this as firm and vivid in your mind as you can. I'll give you a couple more seconds. All right. I want to take a moment right now and say thank you to the people who support this podcast on Patreon. There's a number of you now, and it almost covers the cost of the, the hosting fee, so I very much appreciate that. I got an email from a, a gentleman who's talking to me about his wife's 39th birthday is the day that this podcast will came out, come out. So congratulations. Um, and I hope you're able to listen to it together as you have been in the past. And I understand that you've been through a lot recently. So many ups and downs. So many scary things. But know this God is always aware of what goes on in your life. And if we endure it well, we will gain more from the trials than we ever thought that we could. Even now, you're a stronger person than you ever have been. So thank you for that, and happy birthday. I didn't get permission to use your, your name, so I'm not going to do that, but I think you know who you are by this point. So I want to say I release a new episode every Sunday morning at 1 a.m., I hope that as you remain committed to improve yourself in every way possible, that you're able to come in contact with people who you really feel that you can make a difference in their life, and conversely, that they can make a difference in your life. As we remain committed to God, and if we all are committed to God and we're committed to each other, we inevitably will lift each other up. So even if you've been struggling recently, find a community of people that can strengthen you and support each other. I pray for the people who listen to this podcast because I know that you, you do it searching for God's peace. It's something that I can't do. I can't do for you and you can't do for yourself. But as we put ourselves in places where we are dedicated to God, He will pour out His Spirit of peace upon us. That's why I try to use the word peace representing the Spirit of the Lord, because without Him, our peace is not complete. Draw near to Him, and He will draw near to you. And this I say in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.